On this episode, episode 40, we talk all kinds of stuff. Doublers. Uh, tubing. Tubing. Alligator rolling a human underwater. Other podcasts. Yep. And some other stuff. <laughs> stick <laughs> stick around, dudes. <laughs> Whatever. I don't I think we both just did something, but Okay. Yeah, it's gone now. Yeah, nice. Uh, good. Some motherfucker sound. <laughs> Dude, check out these shirts I got from Rig Times. Hashtag Rich Russ. Hell Give yeah, two bro. shirts, dude. That's Each. fucking badass. I know. Thanks, you know, Rich. They're Russ. actually like a nice fabric. They're supposed to be like moisture wicking. He told me like the whole spiel. It's got that badass car on the back. His yeah. Jeep on the back too. Huh? All right, you know what? I'm going to put this yeah, on. Yeah, you should put it on. There you go. <laughs> Damn. On. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mike and Max Off-Road Podcast, brought to you by Keep It Simple Off-Road. I'm your host, Mike Austin. And I'm Max Krause, and we're taking you from the garage to the garage today. Right. Sticking around in the garage. It's too hot to wheel. You I know, know, the whole country is now like, we see like a couple snippets of like our friends. They're going out wheeling here. They're doing Just this. Just starting. And they're like, oh, it was really cold, and it was snowy. You know, <laughs> yeah. we, we could barely hang in there. And we're like sweating to death already. It was like 107 <laughs> degrees today. We're trying to figure out like... Yeah, it does when when to wheel again, you know, it, or like <laughs> it blows my mind watching Jason and Tyler and all those guys yeah, in California. Yeah, but in they're, the they're snow. in the mountains. They're I, know, in the, they're, I think they're high elevation. What are you saying? He's sitting on four feet of snow sometime, man. That, right. That's crazy, bro. Hm. Those dudes are liars. I saw the pictures <laughs> of Tyler was stuck. I know. Yeah, it's, it's funny because he got stuck. And the way his winch pull yeah. was exactly how I ditched your Jeep in the snow that time when we really? were doing 180s. Yeah. And I drove it 30 feet and put it in the ditch. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I saw, I ran across that picture just this week. I did get that far in the episode on uh, Snail Trail where he like got tension on the winch and there's like a little barb of metal in there somewhere and it like just the slightest tension and it just cut the rope. I'll be really curious. I think he should. I know that Jason yeah. from Willow Wine and Whiskey had talked about because he was there when that happened. Yeah. He said, that he lost like 25 foot of that rope. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that rope was defective, dude, because... Well, I think he lost 25 feet because he probably pulled it out 25 feet. Right. And then around the fair lead, wherever it got damaged, that was probably... That's yeah. why he lost... Oh, okay. True. Okay, but but he said that there was barely any tension on it when yeah. it broke. It yeah. just broke like nothing. They're tough. But I saw pictures of that rope, and our rope is like braided. Yeah. And it, that's not braided. Weird. It has like a weird sleeve over the whole thing. But it's not a sleeve. It's just... It's really weird. It doesn't yeah. look normal at it, all. It'd be hard to cut it without like sip crazy tension and like like yeah. a machete. Even with the barb, I don't like, think you'd need a Edward Scissorhands friend nearby and like like a thousand pounds of tension and it go boom. Right, <laughs> dude, you got me on bar room bar stools. Dude, dude, it's good stuff, huh? Did you see the video of the guy going around cutting everybody with the scissors and no. cutting these? And, and he's like, the dude, cords, dude, the, to cords. the headphones. Yeah, and he did it like fifteen times, and it's just the scissors in the camera, and they're like, chink, chink, and they're I chopping it. People are freaking out and yeah. they're charging him. One guy beats his ass, you know. I think it might be Dave Portnoy. He's all whack, 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 and you see him punching the yeah. camera, and he's on top of it, and he's just wailing on the camera. Yeah. Finally, somebody pulls him up, and he jumps back, and you know the whole thing. Then it goes to him, and it's Edward Scissor's hands all fucked up <laughs> on the ground, dude. <laughs> it's like he goes, "Hey, I, I got to get a one. lot of." He goes, "I got to get play out of that co- that Halloween costume more than one." Oh, shit. I was like, "That's pretty Smart. good." Dude. But, yeah, I, I do. I like Barstool. They got all the weird posts and drama and and it's just entertaining you know they're like the best source of entertainment during this like quarantine for just fun shit they have like between the unboxing the daily pizza reviews (laughs) their drama with the podcast they're like dude they they are like top of the charts on like a ton of stuff you know i mean unless you're going to exclusively to spotify that's the only thing that like beats the yeah from joe rogan so the uh but it's it's very difficult. Like I was watching their YouTube channels, and I was trying to catch up, so I had yeah. something to talk to you with it about and see yeah. what you're, you know. And you're right; it's addicting. You start yeah. following this wormhole, <laughs> and you're down all these different. They got yeah. like I'm addicted to it's the endless. Token CEO podcast. Yeah. That chick, because there's a ton of shit you're learning. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I, like I haven't seen a lot from her, but I I see the posts. You know, well, you can but actually I, I learn to that podcast. some industry stuff, yeah. right? Like, so she's talking about it, and she's and somebody had said. Um, are you worried about podcasts? You know, why, why are, cause a lot of podcasts have been talking about how their downloads have kind of gone flat. Okay. So, um, excuse me, the, uh, and she said, and, and they were saying, well, Netflix jumped up and all these picture, you know, movie yeah. stuff or entertainment ones jumped up. But, um, 
you think podcasts would too. And she says, no, a lot of people are there. Nobody's commuting. Yeah. And that's where podcasts yeah. are taken in. Yeah. So like if you got an hour or two drive to work, if yeah. you're doing a lot of exercise or even I myself, know, I haven't or, been listening very or much. Or while you're at, like I listen mainly while I'm at work, yep. which I'm still listening and I'm still at work. You know what I mean? Exactly. But, that, but the, when she said that, I was like, you know what? Unless I'm working, I'm, I'm not listening at all. Yeah. Because the garage is uh, music. I will listen to some in the garage. Like, I'll keep headphones in to keep, like, distractions out, you know? And, yeah. like, it's a mix between music and podcast. Uh, I find if I people are talking in there and it's not music, yeah. I end up, the, whole, I, the, yeah. the Jeep fights back the whole are, way. Are you going to get Spotify premium? I might. I might. Yeah. Dude. It's three months free right now. Is it? Mm -hmm. What do you all get with it? Because isn't Spotify well, just No music? ads. No, I, apparently it's podcast. Well, we're on Spotify. I know. Oh. You, you know what's weird is uh, the memorial. So go uh, click subscribe. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So on the, with the with the I don't know where we left off. We had a camera issue, folks. But back, the token CEO. Yeah. Um, she was just saying, yeah, like the downloads because we're not listening in the car as much, and yep. and that's it. So don't sweat that shit. Any podcasters that are new, like us, we're new. Yep. But because uh, I was panicking, I was talking with Steve from Total Off Road Podcast today or yesterday, mm -hmm. maybe. It was pretty funny. He's like, call me, bro. I'm like, fuck. I got <laughs> I to talk on the phone, bro. He's like, well, I can't mess with 80. He's hauling 80 tons, you know, 80,000 oh, tons shit. or something. Oh, so he's got like the, the whatever the, yeah, he's not the allowed legally text. allowed fucking. <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. But actually, we Dude, talked for then, like an hour. After you talk to Steve, then you got to do your daily Jason call. No, Jason's then, been leaving me alone because he hasn't what? been communing, I think. So. Oh. He's too funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I you, get a call. You got, you got three designated phone hours a day, dude. Like We get a call from Jason. He's like, <laughs> Mike, Mike, give me a call, man. I'm sitting here in traffic. I'm like, can't you text, bro? I'm like, can't you text, Jason? No, man, I need you to give me a call, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jason. <laughs> I stole this from Howard Stern. I'm going to try to figure out how to work this in. Nice. Howard, what's your mom's name? Max. Franca. Franca. Max. What does she call you? Maximum? What does she call you? Yeah, Maximum. Maximum? <laughs> maximum, <laughs> Max, Max. It's your mother. <laughs> mm. I, I got to hang out with your mom more and figure that out. Why are you holding the biz with two hands? Yeah. Anyway. That'd be more. That, that's more like it. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yes. So, yeah. Barroom sports, stools, sports. Bar stool. Dude, it is awesome. And it's... um. It's fucking everywhere. I tried yeah, to watch just their... now coming into that world of like all their what every and it's crazy. Like they like do 2001 or something. Yeah. yeah. Do you see the walkthrough? And, and, yeah. I, I, we, that's a whole side tangent. Yeah. But that guy's funny. Like he's all he's all Scooter Bronco. Scooter yeah. Bronco. Right? <laughs> oh, fucking Scooter Bronco. I did hear that <laughs> one. Oh, I, I think that's the one I sent you. <laughs> that dude is so funny, yeah. man. Like, he's like, what do you think was going to happen? Yeah. I, I don't give a fuck who you are. Oh, we're like... going to sign the contract now because Scooter Bronco. Scooter Bronco. Yeah. Scooter Bronco. All right. We kind of fucked up. Sophia wants 50% to call her daddy back. Oh, all right. Oh, you want Superman, you want it back? You think we give a fuck about Scooter Braun? We do things our way, the fair way, the right way. Oh, Scooter Braun, Scooter Braun called. Oh, and then let's give back 50% to Superman who fucked up his fucking girlfriend's entire career and relationship and life for the time being. But Scooter Braun called. Scooter Braun, like, what do you think is going to happen? What world are these people live in? Oh, Scooter, oh, Scooter Braun called. It's all, it's good now. Scooter Braun called. Fuck off. If you don't know, we're like, listening who, to. Who would, who would, well, how could we make that example? Like, let's say we're trying to make a deal with someone, right? And like, oh, oh, the fucking mayor called. <laughs> right. Cool. Yeah. About, about Mike and Max's yeah. off-road podcast. Like, <laughs> right. cool. Like, he, he, keep it simple. Is, needs to be kept in check, you know? Like, oh, the mayor called. The, the Avondale mayor. Good so, year, Mayor. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's, he said, uh, Mike Mark Austin, are you uh, are you the uh, CEO of uh, Keep It Simple Off Road and 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 do you own the uh, IP for uh, Mike and Max's Off Road Podcast? I yeah, need I'm, you to call me immediately. I'm the, I'm the mayor. Right. We want to renegotiate the contract. <laughs> oh, uh, the mayor called. Yeah, Doug Ducey called. Oh, Doug uh, Ducey. Doug uh. Ducey. If you don't, you just got to go look up Dave Portnoy, <laughs> dude, and just look at anything yeah. that guy has. Guy, it's awesome. the way he talks is hysterical, yeah. man. But. Yeah, if, dude. If the mayor called me, I'd be like, uh, "What? What? <laughs> like, what do you right. want? Like, hey, no, hey, no soliciting, bro. Get right. out of here. <laughs> Take a hike, dude. Yeah. Whoo! All right. In other news, <clears throat> I got a bunch of parts huddled around the Jeep, ready Ooh, to go on. Like what? Um, my circuit breaker that I think is dying every oh, time right. I winch. That's right. My new LED headlights. <sighs> Amazon. Yep. Nice. Um, I should have got the white ones, but I thought the black would be like, oh, ooh. Mine are all black. Yeah, they but look they good. look good on your Jeep, where my Jeep's mostly black. 
and oh, I'm so used they're almost to the, hidden. And I'm used to the white light, and uh, it just totally robs the look of the front of my Jeep. Like you, like from a distance and dim light, would it look like you don't even have headlights? Yeah, it looks uh, stupid actually. But I'm gonna return, put them in. Return them. I should just or swap them for the white ones. Aren't they a hundred bucks? Not or even close. <laughs> not even. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were like seventy-eight bucks. Seven ninety-nine. Yeah, Something. I mean, not hundred. Seven dollars ninety-nine. Right. Like, we're not. Um, we're not a uh, bling bling. I got my Can't live stream seven. stuff in. Did you bring it? No, you're gonna take the box today, right? Yeah, I'm to, gonna to take start a uh, lot of this crap and figure yeah, it out. Yeah. I've been talking with Angel. Good. He's, he's got it figured out. He has the same box. He's the one that talk. It's yeah. funny because every time I talk to him, I spend money on camera gear. Yeah. And every time I talk to like Steve or you guys or hang out with a group, I end up spending money on parts. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. God, but it's it's so hard to like when you know like I helped uh, our buddy Steve put on new tires. He got forty inch tires, you know, versus thirty eights. Yeah. And you wouldn't Blacks think too, right? No, just regular. Huh. I'm pretty sure they're the street ones. Okay. Um and um, but then you're like, then you start like pushing the tires side by side and you're like damn it you know 38s and 40s there's a huge difference isn't it crazy you can't, you can't be seen on these little 31 inch 38s and you we know? can't like, say 40s because we got 39s yeah. and they measure like low because they're worn down yeah. the weight of the jeep you know like our heavy ass jeeps are like squishing the tire meat down and yeah <laughs> the tire, tire meat, meat. <laughs> <laughs> dude after hearing about uh, Jason and their, the Snell Trail and Willow Wine and Whiskey guys' a snow trip. Yeah. And Jason saying Tyler knows how to snow wheel. Mm-hmm. We hey, clearly look. don't know how. Yeah. Because we got stuck within 10 feet a couple of times. Well, that, that was a bad one. But at the time, <laughs> no lockers, little ground clearance. We didn't barely air down at all. Like Yeah, well, no these... beadlocks at the time. Oh, yeah. No. Now I want to try so yeah. bad. I wish we were snowing here. Yeah. One t- so <laughs> Mike was talking about a story where we pulled up to like this cool little gas station in Flagstaff. We knew it was a forest road and we got stuck and we could still see the gas station. And we were so stuck that we couldn't get out. Like, Nowhere. L- like we tried everything. Everything like just made you go further into the ditch. Oh, is that the time you're yeah, talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and there's big, two times. The big Ram pulled yeah. us out that yeah. time. The, Same day, It's though. like a power wagon Ram or something. Like, yeah, and he the, had a big old winch up front. And the lockers and, and he, all that. he luckily pulled us out. And, <laughs> and we're like, we're like, you know what? We're, we're going to call this day short. We had the entire <laughs> gas station staring at us because yeah. we made it literally like 30, 30 feet. 30 feet. Yeah. All right, let's say 45. Okay, just 45 for, feet. Just for Pat's. But on dude, the, the, the snow, maybe at the time I had 35 inch tires, no bead locks. Um, I didn't air down that much. Plus, it's cold. It was easy three feet deep. And it was only Mike and I and my Jeep. You know, like <laughs> there's nothing to even winch to, dude. And and we basically right away, because you don't know where the what the road is or what's on the side. Yep. And there was a ditch on the side, and we right away started drifting into the ditch, and it was just game over. Within I'm gonna say 45 feet. Yeah. I'm gonna give us a little cred. And then you did you did go back and forth like ten feet. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I think we were able to do something, but yeah. half the, both the driver's side tires were just stuck in that ditch, and yeah. we were not getting out. Yeah. And that guy, just, we didn't even flag him down. He just showed up. And he's like, these idiots. These I'm, morons. I'm gonna show these guys what a. They, you need a truck to yeah. wheel in snow. And that was the first time we had ever seen the power wagon. Yeah. And it comes with lockers Badass. and all kinds of shit. We're like, damn, big right old out of Dodge the gate, four door like truck. Out the gate, yep. badass. Then we did, we were trying to work the Osmo, and we went to that, I think it was the same day, right? Was it the same day? <laughs> when you drove my Jeep? Yeah. When no, you were... I think that was different weekends. Oh. I'm pretty oh. sure that was totally different weekends. So it was another time in the snow, and <laughs> and you're going, you're driving down and pulling the brake and yeah. doing like a 180 spin. I was, while I was I... trying to do a 360, like in the movie, oh. <laughs> but it, it's di- more difficult than you think. And we had just bought a gimbal, you know? Yeah. So we were trying to like do this gimbal with the yeah. Osmo, and... We, I mean, we tried a bunch of times and you had it down a few times for yeah. a good 180 and you're like you want to drive i was like hell yeah <laughs> like more like like 10 15 feet and i go to swing it wide to yeah. do a 180 right into a freaking ditch oh, man buried it to Woo! the headlights yeah. or, i don't know not the top of the hood but definitely like to the headlights definitely like, to the fender and it was in the mud too, yeah. like in, down in there yeah like it was it must have been like all snow covered road hard pack and then again the side it must have been all snow melt and mush and Dude. like mud. And, and then the pool was more than a 45 degree oh, yeah. straight. It was almost 90 oh, degrees yeah. to the only tree to your left. Yeah. And then Across remember. Across the whole road. Yeah. Remember all the mud and shit packed yeah. in the back of the rim? Dude, yeah. Because it drug it up out of the yeah. ditch sideways like that. Yeah. We were laughing pretty funny though. And then good, that though. Subaru drove by. It wasn't a Subaru. Like yeah, a little with no four, no problem <laughs> with studded wheels. Wee, 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 wee. I, was, I don't remember exactly, oh. <laughs> but I think again uh, we're just in my Jeep. Yep. So I, I don't remember if that was the. I don't think it was the same day. I think it was 
Because one of those times we went from like north of Flagstaff on the 40, yep. and we tried to go to the edge of the world. That's where oh, we were right. doing the 360s in the snow. Because it was right. a pretty wide road, and Mike couldn't stay on it. <laughs> and somehow then, I had to go wider. And then the other time, I had found that forest road, and like I knew it wasn't closed for some reason. Because they cl- close a lot of forest I think roads. you were doing work up there or something, and you, you spotted it in yeah, your I old work so. truck. I think so. And then hmm. we just went up to explore. Three hours later, we left without uh, wheeling. Right. Speaking of the old Jeep, you'd be happy to know I actually oh. have the fire, some pre-wheeling from Sandy Beach, oh. some little clips of that loaded, nice. the build. The, the, when, the, the old day, Jeep? No, yeah, the, no, yeah. I have the old Jeep, um, a few wheeling clips. Nice. Yeah. The fire that took place from all the different angles that everybody had, the guy driving by. Yeah, like by. The, the Facebook videos and some yep. of that stuff. Yeah, Some of that. Um, then I have your buying the new Jeep loaded, Whoa. the Liberty, the yeah, cutting it down, tearing it down. I, basically, what I'm getting at is in a long, stupid-ass way. I have all your shit loaded up on the timeline right now in the process of making that the build video. Yeah. So every clip I have is there. I'm That's just, awesome. I'm getting it together. So that should come out in the next week or two. So That's awesome. Yeah. I'm I've excited been patiently waiting. It. Well... You I, know what it is? I never had the story because we, we weren't yeah. super comfortable talking on camera yet. Oh, okay. So we don't yeah. so I'm yeah. just gonna have to put it together without words and then go yeah. on and do a voiceover on it explaining nice. what the hell's going on. So I like it. I wish I'm excited to see what, what comes out because I wish when you were in the crack that you could have said like it, you had an ending. Well that's uh, it, folks. You know what I mean? And we ended it. Like uh, we didn't do that. Because that'd be a cool like Yeah, so the first time the the first run out on the Liberty, I fell big time into a crack and just crushed the side. A massive of the, crack, yeah. I just crushed on the, the side of the Jeep. So you ever watch Dirt Every Day? Yeah. And those guys beat the shit out of it, and then they end it when they're stuck. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, it breaks. They it, end, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I know one. The like wheels fell off of it. Did you? Yeah, that like, the Dodge pickup. Did you yeah, see that? I think so. The vid, the the movie or the edit was done, and they beat that thing silly just getting it back off that road <laughs> like getting it back to camp like they, no matter just just force it just dude, muscle it back it was broke to shit and they didn't get back till way after dark man oh, shit. and they had all that while the credits were going you yeah. know it's it's crazy because you look at that and you're like oh they're they're not really willing it that hard you yeah. know and they always have a goal we got to get to that tree and then yeah. that's our goal you know so but um that one was cool and to see them literally beat the shit out of that pickup on the way back down like man they really are willing so or, that's good. or they don't care about that vehicle whatsoever they're like ah it's for the show it's cheap it's a throwaway it's we're, we'll, we'll salvage the good parts and <laughs> toss the body so um i watch all those shows on modern train and my favorite is the roadkill guys you yeah. know the roadkill stuff and roadkill garage i don't really care for this new format they used to do every episode like all the episodes would do one a month okay and you only got it one a month but yeah. you got like six different shows you yeah, know, yeah. Or, so there's quite a every week every you week something. you got something different yeah. you know i love that but now they're they're hoarding everything, and they'll release like six of the roadkill only, and then uh, six of the dirt every day, and then six of the roadkill to garage. To give the people a break, huh? Probably, yeah. yeah, or probably to give the editors a break, so they're yeah. not every freaking where. So yeah. I don't really know why, but... Um, and I, downsize the film crew that way? Like, so sometimes, but, you know, like there was a few episodes of Dirt Every Day that were just like, we're like they're like... You guys are making up shit now. You're just you don't have any more ideas. You oh, know like what I like mean? the the Magnum snow thing or like the sand is a Magnum sand car. Like where you're like, eh, okay. Like uh, a Dodge. It was oh, like a, it was like a wagon. The car. station wagon. Yeah, it's yeah. like a station wagon. Yeah, and or they just put sand tires. Like like you could just eh. tell they're out of ideas sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, but the Roadkill Garage just came out. And their second episode, they're in a boat, right? And I was like, a boat? Like, <laughs> you know, because Finnegan did one. They did one with Mike Finnegan where they drove a truck. Uh-huh. They pulled the engine out of the truck, put it in a boat at the lake, drove the lake. Yes. And they yeah, put yeah. the engine back in the truck and yep. drove home. So I like, this already played, guys. You already did this. But it was Steve Dolchitz and, and uh, Freiberger. And anyways, they're not really into it. And there's not a lot in the episode. The engine's already kind of built. They put it in a boat. And they're like, yeah. But these guys were having so much fucking fun on the lake, dude. Like it, it, the first half of that episode, I was like, yeah, well, all right. Yeah. But, but I, I was completely turned by the end of it. it yeah, it's a good episode. So it's, a fun, it's just fun to watch. I found myself smiling through nice. the whole back half of that episode. It's, and the, the footy, bro. Like footy? from <laughs> the Will and what, Will and Every Weekend. Uh-huh. Where they're like, yeah, we'll get some sweet footy for the gram, bro. <laughs> all those <laughs> terms that he uses. The footy is awesome. Nice footage oh yeah we're on a side tangent sorry no it's all good right it's good sorry guys <laughs> I, I haven't been watching as much motor trend I, I don't have it on my main tv i actually just have it on the phone so i Me like I don't, 
I don't know why. I just need to either log in on the TV or. Well, with all the fucking bullshit and politics going on, man, and you say, you know, I've, I've been snappity, snippity, bro, at everything lately. And it's like, uh, so I was just like, I, I'm watching way too much shit in politics. I oh, just yeah. needed some entertainment fun. So yeah. I stopped yeah. everything and went back to the old stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Music, what motor you, What you enjoy. Yeah, the stuff that makes you happy. And, and some of the stuff you have no, you can't really change much, you know? Not it, like, are you going to be upset all night? Or are you going to watch something you enjoy? And then during the week, you can get back to the important things. You exactly, know? you know? And, and when it comes to politics, I think people that stay the hell away from it are the smart ones. You know what I mean? They don't really get involved because you're never, you're not really ever changing either people's sides on any of that crap. You know what I mean? And I found, I swear some people just love to argue, dude, they're super, very strongly opinionated. And then, and then they'll, they'll just get like, it'll escalate. It'll escalate. And And then, (laughs) yeah. And and even your own friends, bro. Like it can get trip quick, bad quick. Are you talking about Daryl? No, I was talking about with White Chris. <laughs> oh, um, White Chris. Yeah, White Chris and I kind of got into it a little bit on oh, the really? on the I messenger thing, you know. Yeah. And the chat. The and it was infamous chat. So here, it was over Mark Cuban, right? Oh. Mark Cuban, what? the comment. investor. Yeah, the Mavericks guy or whatever. Yeah, oh. the guy from the Shark Tank or whatever. Yeah. I think he owns a Mavericks. You guys were arguing, of, like, no, which no. one of you is going to date him or what? No, somebody posted on there, and I was like, oh, that dude's a fucking crook. Or not a crook. I said, what did I say? I said. um, I saw a thing where he was tattling on all these businesses, oh, right? Shit. Oh, but like I just knocking them out of the way. But I did a headline thing. You know, I read the stupid fucking headline uh, and I commented off the headline. And then Chris is like, "Really? You don't like Mark Cuban?" And I was like, "Fuck that guy's a rat." And then, <laughs> and he's like, "You can't be serious, bro." And he's like, "You believe everything, you know?" And he went on saying, "You can't believe everything that other people say." Yeah. So but I, he doesn't know what you're referring to fully. Yeah. Right, so and you don't know what he's defending because you didn't even read the article. <laughs> I know. So I hauled ass, and he goes, "Dude." Just because somebody else says it doesn't mean it's true. He's like, yeah. oh, it's true because you wrote it on the internet. Yeah. And then it, I go, it, so it, I go and I find it on Mark Cuban's post on his own blog. Yeah. And I'm like, well, it came from his fucking mouth. Still not reading the article, <laughs> right? I put the article up there and then, and then I put, you know, and I'm now firing off in the argument. I'm yeah. sucked into this argument back yeah. and forth. So while this is going off, I go and read the article while we're in between uh-huh. this. And I'm like, oh, I'm completely wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's actually doing good. But the title made it look like he was ratting people out because he hired a bunch of people to go out and see who's following the rules and stuff. Okay. But he was collecting data to find out if it had hotspots. I mean, the article oh. was really intense. and it, But the article, the people that don't like him, made it look like he's being a rat and just yeah. spying on all these yeah. businesses and tattling. And I was like, fuck, that's like the quarantine related. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. If, if they're really opening with the standards. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oddly, and he said... Um, unfortunately a lot of them failed, you know what I mean? And, but the article was, he was actually finding out analytics to help with the situation yeah. on h- making how, it better. How to help improve with, yeah. with so, whatever he can provide. I was a complete asshole yeah. and totally wrong, but I like, like, I don't have an issue with fixing it when I'm wrong, Yeah. but I should have been. You. So I went back, I apologized <laughs> to Chris, apologized to the group. And then I was like checking out for a day or two, you know what I mean? <laughs> So then I decided. Nice. Right I, then, I love to just go in there and like stir it up really hot, and then I'd be like, "Oh, I forgot to check back." We Sorry. stir it up too much, <laughs> even here. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna, they're gonna revolt against us, bro. Yeah, it's okay. So, um, but like even with my neighbor, he he's like, "You like fucking Fox," and I was like, "You like CNN, yeah. dude?" Like, you know, we, yeah. we don't get along that way. But I was watching. Um, I know I said we we're going to talk about politics, but I was watching Hannity interview Dana White okay. uh, about the UFC and the fights and all this crap. The island? Fight what? Island? No, is it Fight Island? I don't know about that. Oh. No, it was about um, the UFC fight that had no crowd. Oh, okay. That was in nice. Florida or whatever. So he's talking to him, but but even, but even I'm sitting there going, well, at least Fox is somewhat normal. You know what I mean? Like, in my opinion. But then Hannity goes, so the New York terrible times. And I was like, why do we got to hear that, dude? Like, what's your fucking point on that? You're yeah. the news guy. Just repeat the. Why do you have to say yeah, it? The, yeah. dirt, why, we don't need your interjection if you're going to be the news. So right then, I was like, all right, fuck all this. I'm done with all this. Hmm. Only thing now I'll do is if somebody quotes something or sends an article, I will, I will hunt. I will go to the article, and if I can't read the actual article that they're talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah. and read it for myself, and make take your it from opinion. That's it. Yeah. Or if I can't see the yeah. whole clip of video, yep. I, I'm out of it. I'm not. I don't, yep. I'm just going to toss it. And, and there's some it. good editing out there too. You know, you never it's know crazy. if um, you're being manipulated a little bit. Dude, there was a Obama video that he's talking about like controlling the world or whatever. Ooh. But the part that's important, it cuts to the audience. <laughs> and then it goes back to him, right? 
And I'm like, that easily, I've seen those, those players that will take his words yeah. and make his own yeah. words. You yeah. know what I mean? You can't tell the difference. So I can't trust that shit. Mm -hmm. So anyways, let's get off that quick. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I need the microphone. Dude, the microphone could be like the segment breaker. This? Yeah. And now. And now we're going a different route. No more politics. <laughs> you people that are protesting. Look, I'm against still, protesting. still doing it. I'm against protesting. I just don't know how to show it. Oh. Oh, because oh, you don't show it. You can't protest with a sign. I'm against that. So. Oh. Anyway, um, in my old neighborhood. In my, oh my God. in my old neighborhood, there was a sign on a pole that said no posting signs. <laughs> <laughs> and you, right. you put the sign up. No, but Jared oh. pointed out, and it's pretty damn funny. So, oh. uh, on to the main topic. What's the topic today? No, I, I don't think we say main topic, remember? I think we oh, say, yeah. uh, what, do we have a saying? You know what I liked? <laughs> you know what I liked today from what? Total Off Road Podcast? They said, last call. Ooh. I was like, that was like their ending, you know? Yeah. I liked it. But isn't that because they were drinking? Maybe. Like last call for? Yeah. They, they, they cracked Is their last beers. Is that they stayed up till like 2 a.m.? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're doing live feed with like yeah. two dudes on. And they're talking about all the ratchet straps? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. I, I like that one, actually. I did too, man. They did... Uh, I messaged him about the ratchet, ratchet straps, and I was like, yeah, dude, people don't know how to use ratchet straps at all, dude. Like, yeah. And it, I think Ian was right. Um, he said three wraps, but mm -hmm. Max says at least two minimum. Yeah, yeah. So, and they hold that Jeep, and they bounce mm -hmm. it out at um, uh, Easter Jeep Safari. Oh, okay. They hang a big-ass JK on a trailer, Damn. on a crane, and then they bounce to some bitch. And if you don't get two wraps, the Jeep will slide. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, two he used to on the drum. Yeah. On the drum. So, yeah, he was right. He said yeah. three, but... I learned a lot about their stuff. Like, I thought his dime piece buggy was already built, right? Mm -hmm. But no, he had it sort of together with a cab on it, and then yeah. he took it all back apart to paint it. But I thought that shit was done after yeah. the buggy. I don't thing. think it was welded, like, when they started up. Yeah, exactly. It's like tacked. Yeah. They're pretty funny, though. Did you hear him eating peanuts uh -uh. in the episode? <laughs> I don't think so. Mm. But I'm usually half distracted anyway, so. Yeah, it's all Stuff filler. like that doesn't bother me. Fill the background. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that, dude. <laughs> they slide me those keys. Right, right now, yeah, super we're, important. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> oh, for your. Uh... I ran out of beer at the store. Damn. You ran out of beer at the store. Well, the beer Damn. ran out. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh shit! Nice. Sorry. Launch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm drinking this because the other one ran out. I just, All right. Uh, right go. Main. That's not our thing. What, no. do, what do we say? Trail talk. Garage no. talk. Garage talk. There we go. Right. Now we're into the. Doublers. Megaphone. Oh. Garage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, garage talk. Da, 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 da. That was the song. Could you guess the song? Uh, I can only count to four. Yeah. <laughs> have you heard that song? Oh, I, don't, I have no clue. What that is. It's a spoof of bodies hit the floor because mm -hmm. they go one, nothing, two, three, four, and then they just repeat counting. And then someone made a song that says I can only count to four. <laughs> it's like one. What comes after one? Two. What comes oh, yeah, after yeah. two? But it's got three. the same yeah. like, feel to it. It's identical, bro. <laughs> the same That's exact awesome. music. Uh, and he's like, I can only count to four. I can. <laughs> it's hysterical, bro. I haven't, I haven't seen that. Is that on YouTube? Um, probably. Oh. I don't know. It just popped up on my feed today. Nice. So, yes. Today we're talking about doublers. Why? Ooh. Because Max needs a doubler, and yeah. I built one. I want one. And you built one. Right. So I already found a really good deal on a Ford 205 transfer case, which is driver drop 205 right. with the 196 to 1 gears in it. And very wow. sought after because it has 32 output yes. and output shafts on both ends. Yeah. Where the so the yokes don't. are both 32 spline, which is, I guess, like the biggest available from the factory. Yep. But the input is still like 31, I think, from what I saw. Okay, but you're probably going to change the input. I should, yeah. yeah. I probably to should. To the fat shaft or something. Yeah. So this is where my question starts. I thought the fat shaft was like a massive long shaft that went into the underdrive box. You got a Magnum box. Uh -huh. And I thought it went into that and all the way through the transfer case. But I was like, that doesn't work. There's seals in between there, you know? You can't just have one massive, like twice as long shaft. You still have an intermediate stub shaft, huh? Inside the Magnum box? No. Oh, so I, so it is one long one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a long one. It's probably... Yeah, it will go. It goes into the gearbox that you're going to slide on the front. Yeah. The, the extra gearbox. Yeah. It'll go into that on its output. Excuse me. And then it goes in on a set of bearings, but then uh, that's the input one, and mm -hmm. then comes straight through. Yeah. So 
But you have one sh- you have one main spline j- shaft with gears pressed to it, and and your transmission output touches that shaft, and then the yoke coming out of the rear driver or the back driver is still that same shaft. No, there's it's two pieces. So oh, the back pieces. unit on is it's it's a it's its own separate piece. Yeah, that you put that whole back in because it's the a output gear, there's shaft. a gear on it. Huh? Yeah. yeah, it has a yoke and a gear, and, yes. it, and it has a female version. Uh, right. Yep. And then that you put that together first, and it sets aside. Then you build the whole case, and then you put that in. Uh, so um, see, that's the part. I, it was very hard to see online. There's a guy out there on Keep It Simple Off Road that has yeah. an awesome. Video. I watched it. <laughs> I watched that yeah, one. It's two pieces. So, but then that fat shaft now just replaces the input shaft. Yes. Yeah, the input shaft that goes in there, but it goes into the female version of the output shaft. So okay. there is. It's a. That, that's why it's not full long, super long. Yeah. It's like this long like six or seven inches and it fits into that other one. Yeah. And all the ones that I'm looking at, they have like, you just use whatever's in the transfer case, the stock shaft. Yep. And then they give you like a chromoly hardened intermediate piece inside the new underdrive. But what what I keep, what I keep reading is that if you try to r- put it just in the 2.73 to one underdrive, you'll like, you'll wreck yep. your setup you can either do the transfer case or the doubler engaged. Both. Yep. They, they, that's the only thing they recommend. And that really like turned me away from wanting to do it like that. Exactly. You know? That's why I went, that's why I didn't do a 203, 205 doubler. Yep. And I went with the Magnum box yep. with the fat shaft because the fat shaft solves that problem. Yep. That fat shaft is gigantic. Mm-hmm. It's like an inch yeah. and three quarter inch it's and a awesome. half. Yeah. And I don't remember one and of the shafts I had to, because I also had to switch. Yeah, you had to cut some of it off, right? It was yeah. too long. Yep, they, they, exactly. I see that. Right, I see that a lot on so some of the. It might be the fat shaft part that you're cutting off, or it could have been the piece I put in the 465, which you wouldn't have to do. Yeah. So yeah, I forget which one is which, but Oof. you have to measure how far depth is and all that stuff. Yeah. And nice. That's what I thought was my cause of vibration for the longest yeah. time because yeah. I cut that off like I didn't have the lathe anymore uh, so it wasn't perfectly flat oof. but it's pretty freaking close so nice anyway it's not so a- then you know I've been looking at like the black box now that's Ooh. what I think I'm gonna go with but they have one where you like do it yourself right so I have a donor transfer case to use but I'm I know it's not um the planetary gears and I'm oh, sorry say it don't spray it you know yeah but uh, to... I, I need to steal like the planetary gear, like that sun deal, the fork, like all that stuff out of my donor to press into that little box. And I keep seeing that if you have a planetary gear with three gears versus six, right. like you're just asking for trouble too. On For one, my Jeep's heavy, a, a really low gearing it takes, it produces a lot of torque, you know, a lot of output. And um, I, I'd hate to like ruin something that I spend a fair amount of money yeah, you, on. Yeah, when you have it apart, you should yep. do that. The it, it, six gear, no matter what. Yep. And um, I was uh, for, to prep for this episode. I was watching a bunch of videos. Yep. And I want to say JB Conversions or Lomax Ooh. or whoever sold that six gear planetary, so you wouldn't have had to Ooh, make one. Nice. But that video is super ass old. Yeah. So a lot of this stuff is really old. Yeah. Where you're like, uh, is that around anymore? Like. Like, I know I you couldn't know. get a Lomax for the 205. And, and I tried now, forever. You know, nowadays it's so popular. Everything with the JKs, like the automatic JKs can't even go beyond like a four to one transfer case. It's a whole computer mess, you know? Yeah. So like you'd have to have a manual, which not very many people drive in, Are, in a newer Jeep. Let me ask this. I know you're going for uh, um, ex- inexpensive, right? Because yeah, you fairly. could do a four speed Atlas and get mm-hmm. anything you wanted. Mm-hmm. up to a 10 to one yeah and that would solve all your problems yeah so you do have an option there right like because yeah. i know for a while you were like there's not a lot of options for what i have to Bes- because besides the four speed atlas yeah even doing this even doing this you're only gaining a little bit mm-hmm. but it's still enough right it, yeah it, it'll put me at like 115 to one yeah which isn't bad and i'm at like 85 to one right now yeah Plus, I but you know, plus I would be able to do like front and rear digs. Like I'd have the twin stick on the transfer case, and it's strong as shit. Yeah, and it's so, strong as shit. It's heavy yeah. as shit. Yeah, 140 pounds for the 205. Yeah, I can't lift that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, but I struggle, dude. Tell you I struggle with the four to one transfer case when I had to like bench it up, you know, a few times to like, and right. and you know, it's pretty tight under there already. So uh, I, I told I, you I had that shit on my chest, and I yeah. hit one of those cracks in the garage, bro. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. And yeah. the, the the last time you put yours back in, didn't you take out the seats and like yeah. your plating inside, and you hoisted it like with straps through the body of the Jeep? Yep, exactly. Yeah. I actually rolled it under 
on a homemade cart that I had. Yeah. And then I hooked the ratchet strap and, yeah. and pulled it up. And I was going to run the winch to it and drag it up with the winch. Yeah. But um, So I, I still haven't fully decided what all to go with. And I'm still trying to figure out if it's worth it to try to build that underdrive kit, you know, with what they provide and the donor case. Or if it's just worth it to get a fully assembled one. But like I, you said, you know, pricing wise, it adds up pretty. Yeah, you're in. I'm in the Magnum box with the. I also bought. So I had to buy. I bought a a short adapter for yep. the transmission. I bought that extra 32 spline transmission out. I yep. could have hunted down a 465 tool drive that had a 32 spline on okay. it, but I already had four of these other ones. You know yep. what I mean? So, um, so I ended up. I'm in like 2,600 bucks in parts. But I also, but like those two shafts were 300 a piece. Then mm-hmm. the adapter was 300 bucks. Um, but m- that I have, I have eyeballed from watching all these videos and I have pictures of my build. Yeah. Um, that, that Magnum box is identical to the front of a at four speed Atlas. Mm-hmm. That They're identical. Everything. It to looks it. like they have the same concept behind it. Yeah. Same and... bolt, same pattern same shifter same everything is identical to that thing so we know it's going to puke everywhere but um and and you can add like the magnum box the the black box you can add it to a two-speed atlas and make a four-speed atlas like they make an atlas version oh yeah so i I don't think atlas is too far off like they probably just produce something very similar in-house their own product do you know if stacks is stack transfer cases still around or is that gone i haven't seen that. they had a three-speed one that was pretty cool in a video and of course if you had a lot of money you go to hero case and yeah be blinged out yeah i'm trying to just like over time i'll pick up what i need get get some stuff here get some stuff there you know well what's cool with this is you have that 205 ford yep you you might as well rebuild that because even if you decide not to use it it's worth money yeah uh you know and if you rebuild it it's worth a lot of money yeah so I could still I could always sell it and just not do anything i see i'm seeing them go for like six seven hundred bucks rebuilt and they ain't shit to rebuild yeah um, and I've then seen, painted I've seen a video. Yeah, seen it. <laughs> I've rebuilt three of them now. The uh, but they're good, dude, and um, and it's fun to do anyway. Yeah. So and it'd just be nice to. I've never seen a transfer case all torn apart, you know. So yeah, I think that'd be awesome. Just that much more knowledge, that much more know how, you know, that much more like if something's not right, you, you can be like, oh, you know what? I know what's wrong inside that, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's funny because now that I'm looking and I'm like, okay, what could else possibly be wrong with my output shaft yeah. if it's not just the bearing? Yeah. So there are needle bearings that go inside on that other one, and maybe that tip broke. You know what I mean? There's oh, a are ton you of still shit. having the vibration after yeah, the it, output shaft? I haven't done it yet. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. But you, you bought all the parts, right? And yeah, everything. Seal there. and everything? Well, okay. I bought a whole another rebuild kit, so I had multiple bearings and multiple yeah. parts. Yeah. It, dude, you could buy the one gas. But you said you had like slop up and down, right? Like the yeah. bearing is blown out. Yeah, it's definitely wiggling. Your rear output bearing. Yep. Yep. It's big too. So, but that could be two different items. It could be the output bearing. It could be the shaft and the needle bearings. I could have destroyed a needle bearing. Could you just pull the the 205 all the way out and and do one go at it all the way through and and make sure? Yeah. But again, the beauty of that, that whole piece is separate. So I can unbolt that and slide that whole chunk out. It's the rear cap. Yeah. And I can look in those bearings, see what's good, bad, see if anything are broke and build it. And I don't have to take it out of the Jeep. I can just nice. take that one piece out and then put it all back in. Yeah. It will be a bitch to get it back in yeah. because those bearings, you got to put a lot of lube in there to hold mm-hmm. them up, you know, but they got, you got to kind of like magically stick them to the side and then like slide all your crap back together. Yeah. I don't know how I, that would happen, but I've seen, yeah, I've seen a few videos on that where I'm like, Ooh, but it's cool. Um, so yeah, th- there's tons of options. I, I think, yeah. I, um, uh, there's a lot of options with terrible reviews, man, where they're just like, either it's like customer service never shows up um doesn't even work like or broke or like really you know, so they, you're gonna go with the black box because mm-hmm. it's the housing and then you gotta get the innards right and it's but it's and, way cheaper well they have the that company i think it's northwest fab right um they have it like a fully assembled one which i think is like 1800 yep. done you just bolt it in or they have one for like 7.99 and okay. um then you got to put your own parts in it and put it together. And you already have the extra case. I have I have a donor. I got the stock transfer case out of the Liberty when I got it. So what do you need to make that a six planetary gear? Do, you, do they come in a kit? All I or? Need, what I was going to do is just go to a junkyard and find oh, another yeah. transfer case like mine that was either damaged or like I don't really want to buy a transfer case. But right. if I find a damaged one, I'm just going to damage it some more. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pull some stuff out I need. And then um, 
I seen some cool videos on how they upgrade a three planetary to a six. Yeah. And you just stamp the little bars out again. And do you I have mean, to move all of them or does three more fit? You in? You just there? add three more. Sweet. That's perfect. And I thought it'd be a cool project. I, you know, I mean, and, and that upgrade was super popular for old XJs, TJs. But I think it kind of went away because all the JKs come with a really beefy transfer case. I watched a video today where um, bleeping Jeep with that Nate dude when he was there. Yeah. He took a 231 and a 233, and they didn't know if they would work together. Yeah. But they both had different fronts, and he just pulled the guts out, moved it over, switched the front housing on one. He combined two different cases to make what it's he a, needed. a 231 and a 233? Yeah. Hmm. And he said it worked Chad, fine. Nice. But, but um, I don't think he was getting better gearing. It's just a better output. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it, but the fact was, is like they took that shit apart without wondering, and they're like, yeah, hey, it worked. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if we can find one where like the car's all wrecked and there's some damage to something, you know, like all we need is some internal parts, you know I mean? The, the only fear would be if it goes wrong and now you're a extra 700 bucks out yeah. and that the headache. Okay. Yeah. Hunting it all down in the headache. Is that worth just a thousand bucks to get what you want? And we know it works. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, because I, if, if it came down to Northwest Fab at 1800 yeah. and Magnavox at 1900, yeah. I'd probably go with the Magnavox even just because, well, they're, yeah, they build everything to include with the fat shaft. It's all designed around like their setup. Yeah. Hmm. I just know a lot more people with a Magnum box. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But like Vern and those but, guys, when they use them, they're buying the whole built kit with a 205 and everything straight from ORD. Yeah. So that would have been nice too because my shit still leaks. Damn. Oh, really? Thank God I have a skid plate to catch everything. <laughs> so what do you think still leaks on yours? You know what? It's just the gasket. It's the inspection covers. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, that's a boatload of weight mm -hmm. in between all them. And, you know, I don't know. I've, I've already found uh, two of the uh, um, adapter bolts loose. And they're all oh, really wow. weird to get to. You know what yeah. I mean? They're oh, very yeah. hard. And they're studs. Well, they're and, not normal things to install on. Like, it's not made from the factory. And, and I, I mean, got the... Um, little tiny i got the shortest i, I need to keep it as short as possible yeah. so i got the short shaft and i got the short adapter and i shaved like six inches by doing that mm -hmm. and um it's literally the shortest doubler you could set up you could have nice um but at any rate but by doing that the fucking tool has to be this most custom yeah. <laughs> tool to get to these bolts that's so, awesome right yeah. yeah i mean i definitely just want the you know, like I have other issues on the Jeep drivability, like because I have the four to one transfer case in yeah. it right now. So like I don't have the power to keep it in four high on like let's let's use a trail example like Crown King. Yeah. Right. Like I can't be in four high off road and like make some of these steep up and down hills like I'll stall mid hill and first gear, you know, four yeah. high. And if I go four low, I can't go over like. 25 miles an hour without like wrapping out fifth gear and i don't think it's like a tra Damn. you don't want to be in a transfer case like racing fifth gear like just Dude. four thousand rpm There's and if no way that's good gear, let's say your fifth gear is past the one to one and it's yeah. like a, who knows if that thing's strong i'm yeah. sure that thing's not meant to be taking that exactly. kind of beating so i'd love to have the two to one and i think that'd be perfect for like all the like getting to a trail like all the dirt roads right going camping i think the two to one would be perfect and then any rock crawling, you just go double low, you know, 5.33 to one. Yep. First, second gear in the transmission, whatever you, you know, whatever feels right. I know since I've redone it, I've, we'd have to look at Jeeper Creeper or whatever, yeah. the calculator again. But I oh, know Grim, that. Grim Jeeper. Grim that, Jeeper. Yeah. Yeah. That thing's invaluable, man. Yeah. So. It's awesome. The, I know that like when we're out back and all those, the normal times, I'm just cruising with just the underdrive in. Yeah. The, and I'm. The 2.73 to one. Yeah. Yep. And the transfer case isn't even engaged. So yep. like. Which is, again, that's a big no-no if you don't have that fat shaft, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So that's the best version. Like, I like that. That That so is fantastic. You, you don't like the two-to-one? You still think it's lacking too much? Like, it's not enough uh, gear reduction? The two-to-one is perfect for, like, Crown King. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, um, but, like, we're out back and where it's a lot of little rock crawling, oh, then okay. the three-to-one is perfect. And then the technical, when we're on the steep shit, that yeah. five to one is yeah. dead perfect. Now, my gearing will still be different than yours. You know, you're at like 159 to one, I think. Yep. And I'll be at 115 to one in my super low. So yeah. I think I could still get away with like um, cruising in like double low and like second, third gear, like just yeah. to get around. I don't know. I still well, do that in the three to one. Sometimes I'll yeah. be in third or fourth gear. Yep. And the, um, but it's usually on flat ground, the trying to catch up to the next obstacle. Yeah. But like the two to one would be good if you see again with the V8. Like if we ever did sand dunes or the cinders or anything yeah. like that, be a blast in yeah. that shit. Yeah, so. you can't be in a four to one like bombing <laughs> sand dunes. You mud know? bogs, like, bro. I want no a mud way, bog dude. mine. It, you just hmm. 
<laughs> I'm debating. And I don't know what's the best way to go. I'm still bummed. This lingers in my mind. Last time we were in, in Payson doing the Pyatt Draw <laughs> Trail. And during the obstacle, it never dawned on me to try to freaking ram into it in second gear. I kept hitting it in first, you know? Yeah. And looking at the video, like, the tires are going pretty slow, you know? Like, if it's, I could have got some wheel speed on it and dude, just burn up it, like, Whoa. It's crazy when you're, like, I do the same thing. I hear the mm-hmm. fucking duels going, Whoa! Yeah. you know, oh, my yeah. engine's at 4,000. It's so in- And it you can see so the valve stem. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. No wonder I don't make it up that shit. But you think you're banging on it, yeah. you know? So. I don't know. Then the other thing, you know, with all this time, no one's off roading. I get like these idle hands and all this crazy stuff going through my head, and I'm back to wanting the square body. That I do too. Dude. Shave ten inches out of the middle. Yeah. Shave like six off the bottom, all the way across. Just run four front fenders, a Bro, full cage, trailing arms. I don't know. It's because I'm old, but I want a square body yeah. on forty fours with fifteen inch wheels, dude. Yeah. A big ass mud truck. Yeah. That's what I want. It'd and I don't awesome. even want to take it off road. I just want to drive around in a big ass ridiculous yeah. mud so truck. So if I build it, you're gonna be jealous as shit. I'm probably gonna build one too then. No, you're not. You <laughs> said you wanted the Liberty. I never yeah. saw you commit to that. Oh, that was a goof. <laughs> <laughs> I heard uh, Steve hey, I, I got a total off road. He's like talking about wheeling the Liberty. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Well, I think they just do it because they're little <laughs> yeah. and it's like fun to get out. You know? Oh, because his is still stock, so I was like, Yeah. <laughs> and then they were talking about like, hey, we should talk about tow rigs and trailers. And I was going to have you go, let's talk about tow rigs and trailers. Oh, and the, then just the start static. and just start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I think I really want to build that truck still, dude. Like I don't know why. And I, I want to just fix, cool as fuck. I would just want to fix all the things I've learned b- doing the Liberty. Like my front end, the shocks are mounted right. You know exactly how it should be. But because we added that frame. Like I don't, I, I technically, the shocks are mounted right for articulation, but for flat up travel, it's not right. You know, like there's little, yeah, you quirky, lost two inches of frame up, yeah. up travel because of that frame. Yeah. And I, I really wanted all the shocks on top of the axle, right. To avoid any rocks, any issues, which I absolutely like, but really I need to like lower my whole shock to get the bottom of the shock body lower. Yeah. And then I would get more up. The, travel. I would get. No, not you'd be I, more in the middle of the yeah, shock where yeah. it's actually flexing. You're or, right. I would get more up travel. You're right. Just in a different way. Like, I, don't, I don't even know. No, I guess but, you're still hitting the frame at the same time. But but if I lower the top of the shock down, you get I don't, better. I don't want to compress. I don't want to compress the shock more. I want to move it down equally. Like yeah. so, I'd have to like get one of those special link deal. You know, where like you can have your lower control arms with shocks on top yeah. instead of like a lower control arm. And my shock sits on top of the tube. Right. So, like, there's, like, so much that goes into, like, making it right and all these little, like, It just sucks to cut all that old shit off and do it again. I don't want to. Me neither. But I I have no clue why in my mind I feel like I could build a whole new vehicle versus, like, fixing these little issues, you know? (laughs) It just seems way easier, like, to start fresh. There's no way. I know, but it would be... Like you said, you can yeah, and a full flat belly. Like you could now that we, me and you, have both built a fu- almost the well, flat you, belly's cru- crucial. Yeah. You've built more of a full Jeep than I have. You know, like at least I had like a body and like some like yeah. my drivetrain was already there. You know, but like I think it'd be so cool to build something like that. And in my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, well, last time I did it, what in four months and no big deal. But that was a rough four. I mean, that was like nonstop four months. Isn't it crazy how hard it is once they're working yeah. to get out and do anything on them? Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. that's my biggest complaint. Like, and and then I saw a really cool video when we were wheeling volcano, and I was like, the Liberty's cool shit, dude. Yeah, I was like, why would I change? Why would I even dream of getting rid of it ever? You know, like, but then again, I can't. I don't want to build a whole new brand new parts on everything like i would need all my axles uh coilovers winch if you were to do the square box chevy for real right you would buy the box buy the chevy or whatever throw everything away but the frame and the body and everything Mm -hmm. and then build the body yeah build the cab build the body build the fenders fenders. you know um but cut all that shit out dovetail it in are you going to leave a full body or just tube it and then bring in the sides the body would lose like 10 inches out of the middle so you would have still a bed floor and everything. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. That's what I'm wondering. So like, I, I think it because you, I, I, yeah, I would want it like, I need. I, it's too big. The cab's way too big. But I like oh, how right. it looks. But I need to like, I want it narrower than the Liberty. And yeah. I need to take probably like six, seven inches off the bottom just to like not be sky high and like. Right. I would love to be able to buy another body, yeah. the Willys. 
and do yeah. all the stretch like I want. Dude, three hundred bucks off for up. Oh really? Well, they're they're those are usually huge piles of shit. I'd oh, really? love to buy a three thousand dollar, you know, like the oh the the re the remanufactured yeah. like from the factory aluminum or and, like something. So it's tub. ready to go. It's all pretty. There's no yeah. more. And then cut it how I want it. Put the yeah. stretch on it, and then move everything over. And in the process, redo my roll cage. Yep. The um, there's a couple major mistakes on my roll bar, and yeah, but just things you learn over time. I'm sure my there's yeah. no. There's no way my Jeep build is like perfect in any way either. It's the the one that got me big time are those mm-hmm. spreader the bars sheer. on the bottom, and I didn't put the two tubes together. Yeah. I yeah. got them like this, and they're just gonna cut that shit right yeah. in half, dude. Probably, and I've seen probably it. I cut your arms off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, come right through my yeah. elbow. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and then I'm suddenly going, you know, my welds aren't the best on those ones. Yeah. And now you got that new automatic welder, so you can just go to sleep while it welds for you. Pretty much, <laughs> right? <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. It, yeah, yours, it's never fucking ending. Yours would be easy. <laughs> it's so easy to say to someone, you know. Like, I know that's like Vern. He said, "Dude, if you want it done, blow that shit apart. You could have a part in four hours." Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, you're right. It would come apart." But and since we did build it, like, there's no surprises on taking it apart. There's no like, you know, like I, I need, I want a bigger gas tank. I want all this like, cause, I want dude, I have a nine it. gallon gas tank, dude. I bought a fifteen gallon gas tank. I I've never <laughs> I've ran out of gas and put like nine and a half. Yeah. And that's crazy. They're, my okay, I do have a pretty big fuel pump. What the hell else pump. do you have in there? Oh, just Nothing. a fuel pump. A fuel pump, dude, and like it can't be legit. Then you ever do the actual math on the squares? No, oh. I need to. I think I either got the wrong one, or that the like fifteen gallons is just like the name of it. Right, and it's not the size of it. <laughs> it's you know? a fifteen G, yeah, ten gallon tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fifteen. Oh, maybe it's fifteen gauge aluminum. Something. Yeah, that's crazy. And then they don't say what size fuel it holds. Because mine was 20 gallons of cubic space. Yeah. And then but with the baffles and all that other crap. But I can get 18 gallons. Yeah, that's... That, so... I'd be okay with 13. Yeah, but it's good. Exactly. <laughs> so you should get like yeah. 13. Hmm, and you know, weird. my fuel pump, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff going on, little rods. There's not a solid gallon shape surrounding it. You know, like the, the liquid can go through it. You know yeah, what it's I mean? tubes, it's, right? And then you have the little pump on the It's nothing. Bottom. Like, it should take up... Eight ounces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Not five and a half gallons. Yeah, it's weird how even my the baffles take two yeah. gallons. But I do have that one slant. That one corner yep. is slit yep. to, to match the body. Yeah. So. And I have room for that. So mm. I thought about hitting up someone that is really good at welding aluminum, like an actual shop or like a buddy, you know, whatever. And um Do we know anyone? <laughs> I don't like Shannon Campbell does it good. Oh me? Oh. <laughs> but I was just gonna drill Talk like big more. old hole saw holes in the bottom of it. And then, like, have someone fold the right piece of metal and then just have someone weld it. Like, I want someone who's confident. You oh, know? So if you don't want to do it, I totally get it. No, I would do it. I totally yeah. do it. I just have to warm up, mm-hmm. you know, and practice because that shit's been sitting in the corner oh, forever. Yeah. I'm working on getting everything out. That but, will eventually have a station yeah. that I could just sit down and practice. But I bet you we could add, like, two to three gallons in that, yeah. and that'd be huge. That'd that's be a good a, point. That'd be enough to just, like, you know, make it back to the gas station. All Dude, the, Not to carry a five-gallon I even have the metal anymore. to do that right now. The aluminum? Yeah. Damn. My well, whole you, drawer. My old drawer. But you sold your brake, huh? No, I have the brake still. But we, oh, you wouldn't break that. No? Um, no, it's very hard to bend aluminum. You got to mm. get it the right temperature and stuff. So just make two two and nice cuts. And then... then... I'd cut that thing right in half, and we'd add four yeah. inches right in the center of it. Mm-hmm. And we could even overlap it so it doesn't need to be braked in there. Ooh. We could totally do that. And then you could go That'd inside, cool. outside. And but again, it would require me to like unplug it, put pull. Dude, it's all glued together with like, because, you know, it's a clamp. Yeah. And then it, it uses like a, like an RTV like to make a gasket. Like, oh. I think it'd be a whole. Again, like, why why do I want it? And then I ask you. And then I'm like, yeah, you know, that's a lot of work. And I... Dude, you know what? It's funny because <laughs> my, my fuel pump's been making a lot of noise lately. Ooh, you should get a new one. Do you have, don't you have two or no? Mm-mm. No, oh, one. Some, but some, Someone had two. But, um. Like Somebody. I have to buy it, you know. It's a special pump yeah. or whatever. It's yeah. a aer- it's a aero. Yeah, so aero mode. It's a with... crazy seven hundred dollar pump, but the pump itself is only what? like eighty bucks. Oh. But I mean, it's it's a like it's top of the line shit, right? Yeah. Like they use on race cars and stuff. Okay. But if you can't just type it in because I have the TBI, yeah. so I have this little dinky pump that only pumps like ten liters or whatever yeah. it is. But dude, you had to restrict the it's output. Too much work to find out what pump that is because <laughs> it's in your paperwork. <laughs> I know, bro. It's like four pages deep trying to figure uh, it out to get the right part yeah. number. Because you get on online, you type it in, and then you go, you read it in the description. And it's like sixty yeah. liters. I'm like, oh, that's gonna fuck everything up. So, oh, my other big hesitation on building a custom narrowed cab is the windshield. I want a real windshield. That's easy. Really? You're not dealing with that. 
You just take it to somebody. And they'll make me a windshield? Mm -hmm. They just like mold some hot glass together and like pump it in there and it'll be more expensive because it's yeah. custom, but yeah, they just So I should take glass coverage off this new vehicle it's if I get it. <laughs> better if if you could find um you know, if you had like with the wheelies it's flat. Yeah. So but even mine was two hundred bucks. But it's That's they just bad. cut it right there. Yeah. So this one's not flat though. It's got like the edges curve curve out. And yeah, I thought about getting rid of that, but then you get rid of the look of the truck. You know, it's like yeah. a whole. Well, think of how many times people chop the top. That's mm -hmm. all a custom window. Mm -hmm. Then again, it's usually the same width. But anyway, I don't know. Yeah, I thought about adding a bar in the middle, and you mm -hmm. could just cut a windshield. But I talked to someone about that. And windshields are like dual layers with something in the middle. Yep. So they said if you start trying to make custom sides of a window, it just. They can splinter pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's true. And I can't buy six windshields to practice and Just be all. Just do plexiglass <gasps> and bend that shit around. I would do that, but that sounds ghetto. So, what do you get pulled over and like the <laughs> most <your> unique, <laughs> supposedly street legal vehicle that's registered who knows where, and then like, <laughs> and they're like, oh, sir, is that a real windshield? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes, officer. All right. lives matter. Right. What, uh, then why you have a drywall screw holding <laughs> your mirror on? <laughs> well, I have no mirror. Uh -oh. I'd probably do a roll bar one because, you know, I'd, I'd have a roll bar. That's funny. That's good so shit. So who knows? I'm not going to do anything until I'm sure. And I think I need to draw it out and, like, really commit to, like, some prep. Not just, like, be like, oh, there's one that runs. It's a good price. And just rip it apart into a thousand pieces and then be like, hmm. what have I done? Hmm. And it's July. <laughs> heat, heat well, wise. I'm going. For, I'm going to do. I think one more run in the heat, and that's it. Really? I'm Sandy Beach. I'm going to lead to Sandy Beach as soon as I get that bearing changed. Oh, I want to do that. I want to go. Get your shit together. I'm not driving. <laughs> oh, you gonna ride with me? You can ride with me. I'll ride you. I'll ri I, I would <laughs> you prefer... ride me. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll ride with someone. I know. I know. Oh, I'm okay. But you um, said I'll ride you. I think my Jeep is too wide, especially the ass, the over the how the over the fenders, over mm -hmm. the rear quarters. Um, I think it will get wrecked. I mean, my JK got wrecked in there. You were going to do it that day, though. I know. Mm. I was ready. I know. Sometimes you're just in the mood. Yeah. Huh? And I would 100% prefer to have the control and the gearing to do that. Tri I'd be way more comfortable with the doubler yeah. than with like my four to one. And I'm just like. Ur, ur, ur. I'm just thinking now with the lower gearing and the bigger tires yeah. and a flat belly, I should yeah. rock right through yeah. it. So except for the one part. Nice. But now I know it just to stay on top of that fin. So. Dude. And we got to be ready. To either, whew, it's a little hot now to stay the night, but I think it'd be so cool to break that trail up because it was a long, hard day to go in and out. You know, minimum four hours with no issues when it was just you and I. Right. Four hours in, you know, an Dude. hour at the beach, four hours out. Think. What about this? What about this? We put tents up okay. at the Jeep, next to the Jeeps. We leave them there. We have someone pick us up on a boat Ooh. at the dock and take us over to a camper with AC for the night. <laughs> yeah. And then we come back on the boat and then yeah. drive out the next day. Why did you put a tent up? So people think we're there. Because no, we're leaving do, the Jeep do back Do a there. secret like disconnect or like take the battery. We'll take the batteries with us. <laughs> All right. I have the secret disconnect. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Where, where is it? <laughs> yeah. We, we, let's do this little answer so what, question what thing. Day, what What's day your we middle going? name? <laughs> what middle school did you go to? Oh, I don't know. Right. Oh. <clears throat> okay what else so we've decided i'm out of beer so we can't do last that, call um we know nothing moving forward same shit <laughs> but hey you know what um we're going out of wheeling season yeah. so we can just talk about other people's well, wheeling no we usually do like night wheeling break it up a little you know we do do some stuff like i am planning on you know that overland trip i did that big one yeah I'm going to go, like that. i am going to do that again i want that place i found out in alpine or luna mm -hmm. new mexico I just want to go spend a couple of days out there in that yeah. grassy place, dude. So, nice. but it's not going to be hard willing or nothing. Yeah. But I want to go do the little, little towns and all that crap again. I'll awesome. let people, a couple of people know. But yeah. I don't want a big ass. Group. Obviously not white Chris, you know, cause he's the, no, he's a, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, he actually that, got, that I think he fault. got mad. I always razz on him pretty good, but I think he can take it. No. Yeah. And but we've been ragging on everybody, bro. And then we, like you said, we zip in shotgun in the book and then don't pay attention to anything. And we yeah. think we're okay. Like we're the only one listening to this shit. Yeah. And then, um, and then it, you know, there's, there's, there's definitely harbingering some, some hatred in there. I can see it. Harboring. Harboring. Yeah. Or harbingering. Dude. Um, orange Chris though. He went out to the, the yeah, fucking, San Hollow. yeah. And did the fallen. Yeah. And he was pimping and keep it simple shirt. But, um, so I appreciate that, bro. Nice dog. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I I actually read that some of that in the chat recently. How like a bunch of people were like they weren't airing down so much, and some people fell into like these weird cracks and stuff. And he had to like show them how to wheel. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I I go, bro. He out, he's showing the guys how to wheel, like because yeah. they dug that one thing out of there, yeah. and then he and walked these, right through it. And so, like you know, the one person I'm referring to, V-notch. like he had beadlocks. He's got like the same tires we run. What was that red car? The red Jeep. Who is that? I don't know. Yeah. What is what that? What you're asking? Yeah. Oh, that's Record Dave. That was Record Dave. Pretty sure. No, I think that was something nice. I don't think that was Record Dave. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Like Dave wouldn't have cared. He just. I think it said motor. Dave in the in the screenshot though of the oh. Instagram thing. Hmm. I have to look. That so, thing looks brand new. Unless there's another Dave, I don't know. It looks super nice and brand new. That's where they winched it off the rock so he could drive through and not see. I didn't see that. I just saw Chris's photo because it was a screenshot of Chris like saying, "Oh, look, I was in the same. Oh, I'm so cool." Oh no, that was me that screenshot it and said, oh, "Look at Chris showing everybody see, how to wheel." Yeah. So, but in that post, it said Dave, mm. and they're talking about a red Jeep all flopped over, and I was like, "Who better than Wreck It, Dave?" Yeah, but it was a, it's a very, it was a brand like a brand new really? fire red Jeep. Okay, and I think it had doors and everything. So, and that's yeah. not Wreck It, Dave. <laughs> and if it was Wreck It, Dave, dude, we know he would just keep <laughs> driving, <laughs> so he would not care about the side. But uh, I guess I did just assume it was him, dude. You know, the guy like, leading that trail though, the buggy. Mm-hmm. Now I want to try Diggs. That yeah. guy went straight up on that wall, front digged over to the crack, yeah. and then wedged up the crack and over. And I was like, that's dope. I could do that now. I think on that, where the front's light and it's a smooth rock, I think I'd be safe doing a front dig. Mm-hmm. You don't want to do that shit like dragging it with a 44 bolt or 44, Dana 44. Hmm. Yeah, the 60 would be nice. All right. Want to play a game? Sure. What do you got? All right, because... Is this rapid fire? No, this is like... Um, I'm going to give you some topics, Ooh. and then I'll tell a story. Because <laughs> I have... Wait. You're going to tell a story? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six topics, oh. or six stories. Oh, and I just pick one. Yeah, I'll oh, just okay. tell one. Nice. So, my very first camp trip ever. Mm-hmm. Okay. What would Max do? We already talked about doublers. Old man acrobatics. Mm-hmm. Where... Um, Mexican Ooh. bingo Mm-mm. or drowning guy? <laughs> I got to go with drowning guy. I'm just too, oh. too curious. <laughs> the drowning guy. So my neighbor, the Joneses, okay. right? So he's got those fancy ass um, jet skis and everything. Yeah, right? they're like really high power. Like isn't it like three or 400 horsepower? Like Yeah. And every single time he goes out, every time he, he's got quads and jet skis and... Oh, hang on. I have an interjection. Sure. Does a jet ski have horsepower or yeah. sea horsepower? Ooh. Let's go with seahorse power yeah. just because it's cool. Seahorses are cool. <laughs> you remember little. that guy's video? <laughs> Seahorses rule. <laughs> you right, but, that? I'm sorry. That, was, right. that wasn't that good, but go ahead. So every time he goes out, he loans his shit out to everybody. You know what yeah. I mean? But every time he goes out, something breaks. Oh. Something goes wrong. Something breaks every freaking time. So, um, and he always says, it's what I get for being a nice guy. I'm like, well, quit loaning your shit out. Yeah. You know, but so... He's driving. <laughs> he's they're coming back from hum, Humbug Cove. Okay. So b- basically, booking across the length of yeah. the lake, right? It's a. It's like it's a trip in a boat. Yeah, exactly. Like a comfortable boat. It's, a, it's <laughs> right. far. Like I couldn't imagine doing it on, on a ski doodle or whatever. Well, at least on. you could do like, eighty miles an hour on those bastards. So you're moving. But well, like it's like sitting in a race car, right? So like it's, it's tough. Yeah, it's, it definitely beats you to death. So he comes up against a jet ski by itself. Oh, okay cruising the lake by itself another jet ski oh no person no that, that he could see there's a dude yeah. hanging on the back the jet ski's <laughs> about to go under like he's pulling the jet ski under he's sinking the whole thing the man yeah this oh. huge dude we're talking like 500 pound guy, oh my God. right and he his jet his life jacket doesn't fit him he's got just the one clipped uh, on like his choke, top is it choking him yeah too? and it's like... coming up and he's Full fucking panic mode, bro. Yeah. Like he's drowning out so there. So do you do a big bow around that? Like well, do you avoid the did, situation? That's what I said. I go, did you throw your blinders <laughs> up and you just keep moving or what? Oh and he he said he saw it and he was like, oh man. And yeah. I said, and he thought about it and he went over to see and he goes, do you guys need help? And the guy's like, hell yeah, I need help, man. He's like, no, we're not okay. He asked if he was okay. I just okay, you're good. So <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you okay? No, okay. Anyways, um, so. He, so this is Jim's brand new one, right? Yeah, like, like nice, super, high horsepower, super fancy. The only person that's rode it is me. Yeah. And, I, and it was like for a few minutes and he's like, I'll yeah. give it back. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? So, and, and he t- totally trust me. The guy gave me his truck for King of the Hammers. Nice. So at any rate, um, he goes over to the, the big guy. I don't want to call him fat, but he's a giant guy, right? Mm-hmm. So 500 it, pounds. I think he's, it's safe to say he's lo- he's fat. He's pulling the fucking ski down with him. He's burying the ski, his, his own. own. And it was trying to run, but going and he's, he couldn't get up on it and he was drowning. And his, his can you shut jacket. it off or will that sink it? 
I don't know. Tell you the truth. I don't know. It's a good question. But so it was kind of pulling him and the drag on him and the weight and everything. And he had another guy that was trying to get him up. And, and when Jim went over to like, here, get on my ski. Cause it's a way bigger ski. You know? Okay. Yeah. So he pulls over to him. He's like, grab the back. And, and he's now he's on Jim ski and he's got Jim ski almost nosed <laughs> up, like trying to because sink they're, that fucker. They're sitting together like buddy to buddy. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. So he swung in like this and the guy, went like off of that ski to the gym ski and was hanging on and Jim's has a ladder on it. Right. And he says, Jim's like, he's like, help me, help me, help me. And he's like, I'm not getting over near you, dude. You're going to fucking drown me. You know what I mean? And Jim's a little guy. dude. Like, so he sits there and he's yelling at him, grab the ladder. And he's like, I don't see the ladder. I don't see the ladder. Okay. He grabs the reverse, the thing that puts it in reverse. It's this on um, accident. No, well, he thinks oh. it's the fucking ladder, and he's in full panic mode, and rips it clean off the jet ski, breaks the cable, breaks everything. Now it's stuck in reverse. You know what I mean? Like, what? it's this. So the jet ski has a blower, and this yeah. thing comes in, and it reverses the flow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's got all that broke off. It's fucking pulled away. It snapped it. Jim knows it. He tries to throttle out. This oh guy's pulling him under, yeah. and now he's on the side of the boat. Is there, like, ch- anchors chained to his ankles? Like, what? what? Dude, we, nobody knows. He was no. just like... And I was like, and he was yelling, screaming, yeah. full panic he's pan- mode. He's scared. He's panicking. Yeah. And I okay. was like, nobody tried to just calm the guy down a little bit, slap him. You know what I mean? I was like, dude, I probably would have kicked his ass right off. And and then, <laughs> and then you don't just you, hoof him in the face. Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> Boom. You're calm gonna, down. Going to kill us <laughs> all, calm dude. Down. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wow. Because what a good technique. You can't jump in to try to save him. He probably yeah. drowned you. Yeah. And you know? then you're off your jet ski. Right. And then I thought, let's see. Let's say I did jump in. Let's say I'm on the other yeah. ski. And I see him trying to kill Jim. If I jumped in to try to hold him, be like, bro, yeah. we got you. Relax. You're going to hassle off him. You're going to dive in. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch, bro. Yeah. I'm going to do a big swan off the back. Belly flop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I thought, what would I do if he's trying to drown me? Okay. You'd probably drown. I'd, I'd swim down as fucking hard and fast as I could. I'd take him with me. And then, <laughs> so he's really panicking. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I'd do a alligator barrel roll, death roll with him. <laughs> you know, at least this is what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah, in my yeah. head. And then um, then I'd swim away and up and out. It would yeah. be the ideal way, I think. So you'd leave him under? <laughs> no. Well, hopefully he would come back up. But I think I would try to go down to get away from him. Because I was trying to think. I, I think going down would be really hard if you're now, like if someone is pulling you under, you're already not breathing. And if you're already not in a good like if you're if you're starting to panic a and little or a and, you're, and you're out of air i think it'd be really hard to like change your mind and go in the opposite of what you th- need which is air and up right i think it'd be crazy hard to go down alligator wrestle this guy <laughs> well, and, I was and gut, kick off his and belly gut maybe. check him a few times you know like whatever it needs <laughs> i literally and thought then, if he was on my ski i'd probably turn around and slap him yeah. you know what i mean like literally calm try down calm like, down yeah like, like we got you bro yeah. just relax you're gonna kill us all but so he ended up just jacking that ski up. Oh, so he had so, to that's so sad. take the ski back to ride now. So how do you get out? Wait, hang on. So, oh, yeah, you're right. But, so so he's he's panicking, and Jim's now freaking out, and a boat came by, and Jim's waving a boat yeah. down, and the boat came over and got him. He's was, like, you got to get this fucking guy was out. Was the man. boat big enough to handle this? Yeah, he, oh, okay. yeah. So he ended up getting on the boat. It was like a barge. He, he's like, and then the other guy that was following him, his other friend, was like, yeah. can you leave your ski and jump on his and take it back? And Jim's like, Whoa! Like, <laughs> let's get so out of here. How, how did he? Um, oh, the reverse went into reverse and then got ripped off. So he's back into forward. So he it pulled a corner off. He's still in reverse. Yeah. So okay. he ended up having to get off once he the guy was on the yeah, boat and yeah. figure out what was wrong. And then he pushed it up out of the way and oh, kept okay, it in, in okay. drive. So um, so he just doesn't have a correctly working reverse fin thing. Yeah, whatever, he, like, yeah. He just broke off the reverse yeah. part of it. So I was scared. He's going to like go to reverse, like halfway through the lake and like, <laughs> dude, no. So, so that, but so then he gets it over. Um, yeah. So he, he gets it in and now it's been setting it right now for like two weeks outside ah. with waiting on parts. Yep. And he's like, what the hell? I could have sat at his house. That's what he said. And I go, he could how be do they polishing get it, off? it. I was like, how do they get it off your trailer? And he's like, oh, they just drag it off, dude, uh, dry off the carpet onto this fucking cart. And he's like, now it's all crooked on the cart. And I was like, we should just go yeah, get it is. back, dude. Yeah. And he's yeah, like, you could fix it. Well, probably, but it's under warranty and shit. It was like nine hundred dollars mm-hmm. in parts. Is that crazy? Damn. But yeah. And anyway, that was it. So the large man lived. We don't know. Probably. Oh, he made it to the boat. Yeah, he got on the boat. The barge. Yeah, he got on the boat and then he booked. Nice. He left. But poor guy. That's that funny, it. y'all. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> he just took a, nope. What? I can't hear you. Dude, as thank I'm goodness, leaving. like that he does own a newer one and it does have a warranty, and he yeah. did save that guy. Hopefully, and yeah, it's crazy though. He loans a quad out, uh-huh. gets destroyed, 
Brandy jet ski gets destroyed. Well, it doesn't get destroyed. Hey, you know what loves uh, a little bit of water in the lungs? Corona. Oh, does it? <laughs> if it's... <laughs> if it's uh, yeah, isn't that what it does? Res- respiratory infection, water in the oh. lungs, you drown, you die. <laughs> you probably die. Alligator died roll, and then you freaking... <laughs> some like, throat checked you underwater. Yeah. Oh, I, I just let go. Oh, that's good shit. Yeah. So, all right. Dude, but you're right, man. When you panic, stuff goes bad. And sadly, I think a lot of people drown at the lakes. Oh, I bet. Every year. Like, I bet. The Salt River, they get too drunk. Dude. Yeah, who, get, who dies in two foot of water? <laughs> I guess, I, but you know what? I've been down that yeah. river yeah. dragging people out at the yeah. end yeah. Yeah. and f- yeah. trying to get water in them, and they can't, they're incoherent. Yeah. So that's that, and that's that's actually kind of common. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's you know, crazy. Well, 10 a week. I mean, <laughs> I mean, big. like, yeah, Ted Tesmer and I, we sat there for a long time, mm-hmm. dude, just pulling people mm-hmm. out at the end. I've, I've definitely been tubing where we were uh, drinking too much, and I made it to the bridge, which mm-hmm. is what, like halfway? Yeah. And I woke up. On I-10 and 83rd Avenue. <laughs> in a car? <laughs> yeah. Uh, really? You passed out uh-huh. that whole time? Yeah. I mean, we, I must have been walking or something, right? But like... A full blackout. Yeah, no memory. We, and they got fucking tacos. <laughs> and I, I didn't have no tacos. And they're all, well, you were asleep, you know? And I was like, you can't just get me a couple? like, Dude, that's funny. That's <laughs> funny because the first time I ever went down the river when I first moved here, I got blasted drunk like yeah. that too by the bridge. We actually ran out of beer by yeah. the bridge. And no water, and and <laughs> hey, it's impo- You cannot drink the sewage. No, it's water nasty that fucking water. In, yeah. like... There's dead horses and shit yeah. in it. You know, and like, yeah, dead that's people. nasty. Yeah, and dead people and creepy, creepy scuba divers underneath. <laughs> it. You ever see that shit? The bubbles and no. stuff. Like, what the hell are you guys doing under there, man? Anyway, some old dude with a big ass white beard pops uh, up. It's like, Ugh. Santa. Anyway, um. Yeah, but we they pulled over. Same thing. I was in the back of the truck, like uh, ready to yeah. throw up, and they stopped and got Jack in the box. Well, you know? between dehydration, drinking too much, being in the sun all day long, You're purple like, when you yeah, get out. Yeah, the the water can be crazy cold, and it's like a hundred and ten outside, and like it's just a weird combo that like messes with your body. It's definitely we became pros at it. I've been down like fifteen <laughs> times now. Like nice. when Ted was when I was single and Ted yeah. was single, we. You literally have to lotion yeah. like regularly. I'll, every, I'll, wear, I'll wear long sleeves, every like a big minutes. baggy long sleeve. Yeah, put a, a big old sheet over the tubes. So you don't get the rubber burn all yep. down your sides. We started bringing two coolers, mm-hmm. and if we think we'd th- drink thirty beers, we'd yeah. bring sixty beers, yeah. and I would bring like three cases of water. Yeah. Literally two coolers, and yeah. we always would go. We do like four beers, and then beer, water, beer, water, yeah. and force that shit in you, and then smart. you could walk out at the bus. Yeah, you smart, know? And, and, it, then, and then you drive home. No, you get in the bus. <laughs> you get in the bus. It takes you to your car, and then you wait for all the cops to leave, and then I, you drive home. I've taken a party bus out there before. That was a really good time, besides some of the drama. But it was a great because it like picked us up on the West Valley. Yeah, party bus out there, little local bus to the thing, you know, oh, and then party cool. bus back. No one had to drive. Hmm. That was cool. That would be cool. Yeah, except for you're sort of stuck at their times. That's no, right. That's a good time. The time is like you leave early. Oh, it right. takes the, whatever time it takes to. To oh, do the, the bus river, stays there. The bus they? is hanging out. You oh. rented the bus for the day, or not you, but someone. Rented Dude, that'd be badass. And I think it was like twenty bucks a person. That's it. Huh? But it was probably like twenty, thirty people. I parked bus. my truck there one time. You know, mm-hmm. where because Wayne takes a raft every time, and then yeah. they quit allowing the raft on the buses. Yeah. And he got all pissed off. He's ready to fight the cops, and he's super drunk. You know, and his wife's like, "Just calm down, dude." You know, and he's like, "Fuck this, man." So. No more rafts on the bus. And then... Um, yeah, but you're talking 20 years ago, probably. Yeah, 15 or something. <laughs> uh, maybe it might be... I don't know how long yeah. it was. But uh, so I locked... <laughs> I put the stupid shade up and it blocked my pass. Uh, and I got a $65 fine, dude. And lost my keys somewhere along the way. Yeah. So I had to break the window. It was like a fucking nightmare. So good times Damn. on the river. Right. On that note, folks. Megaphone it. Megaphone oh. the outro. And on that note, folks, we're out of here. No, no, no.